We'll edit the template to warn if there are missing descriptions and show the descriptions in the listing. With PyCharm Professional Edition, from the view we can get to the template by clicking on the gutter icon. Getting back to the view is similar. We can also navigate from the string pointed to the template file. I want to poke around and see what's working in the template, so I set a breakpoint and run the Django server, but under the debugger. When I reload the browser page, I stop in the debugger. With this, I can see that count under missing under description is in the context and is zero. Restarting the server and reloading the browser breaks my flow. Instead, I'll run my tests under the debugger. I again stop at the breakpoint and poke around. As before, I can confirm that the variable is in the template context, this time with less effort. I can now proceed to adding support for the warning. I will use a live template to add a Django template if statement. I choose the context variable to use. I can then add a note with full HTML completion thanks to our bundling of our WebStorm IDE for web development. I'll then reformat my code. I'd also like to add the description in the question listing. After the link, I insert a Django template variable using autocomplete on the question model. Does this work? Let's first go to our tests. In our second test, we'll add an assertion to see if the response contains the sample description from our create under question helper. When we run this test, we see that the test passes. Our template change works. All is in place. We start the Django server in the PyCharm run configuration. Switching over to the browser, we reload and see the description is now displayed.